Today I want to talk about theming in WordPress. For the, the many times I've created a theme in WordPress, I've always uh, used uh, PHP as a means to uh, theme my WordPress site. Uh, and then I would bounce around to other frameworks um, for different projects. Um, if it was things like uh, Meteor or Angular or even uh, React, um, which is not React is in a framework. Uh, it's more of a, a library. But in those languages alone, I found myself when it came to parsing uh, my back end code to the front end, I I like the way the templating would would happen for the front end piece. And so in those areas, I uh, thought to myself, does does WordPress even have some sort of uh, templating that I can use to make my life easier? Because who enjoys actually using the PHP syntax to, you know, render out, um, let's just say the title, right? So if we wanted to parse this out, you know, this would give us the title of a post, right? And then we'd have, um, we'd have a, a while loop and then that while loop would have an object that's uh, returned from that while loop. And then we have to, you know, parse the title out this way where we have the post dash the title. But let's say we wanted to do the same thing in a templating language. And we have a for loop and that post title can be rendered like this. What if we could do that? Well, we can. And the way we do that is we would use um, a plugin, which is called Timber. And this allows us to template in an easier, more um, readable way uh, for our, our themes. And so if we install timber, let's install it. And we find it here, go to timber. activate it so now we have timber installed now what is timber timber is just our templating tool that we can use to leverage twig which is a templating engine that instead of us using the uh, php uh, language to template we just use a double bracket so our double bracket will actually um, parse anything within here if we wanted to write any conditional statements or any loops or such we use a single bracket and a per percentage and then to close it on the other end we use a percentage and then uh, the closing bracket and for if statements we'll use a, a end if or n4 and then we have these block areas which will allow us um, to use as, I guess you can consider as partials almost. Um, but I'll get into that when we start to code out our, our homepage to get started using the, the timber plugin. The first thing we need to do is add a, uh, a templates folder. 
and this will be the place where we'll house our uh, twig templates. Now we can uh, use uh, any file extension. Um, well, I'm not going to say any file extension. We can use um, either the doc twig extension or dot HTML. So it'll actually read either extension uh, within our templates folder. But I always recommend using um, the twig extension. Okay. So from our, let's erase this. So from our template folder, templates folder, um, I have a, a layout uh, file and I want to use this file as my uh, base template. So this will actually be my container for all of my uh, pages that I plan on rendering from WordPress. So to start, let's just do should have an HTML, an HTML snippets. Yes, it's still in there. HTML. Okay. Let's do this HTML, this and do HTML five. That's fine. All right. So now we have our, um, our layout and let's just call this, um, base layout. And then this will just, um, give us a way to see that our twig see that our twig layout is is rendering so if i go to my index which will be my my home page but this is like a, a fallback page i usually consider this to be um, um i guess the file that if there's a page not found it'll always fall back to the index but because i want to have a custom home page what i'll do is i'll create um template let's just do uh, oh, a page template so at the root I'll just do page and let's just call this home PHP all right and then we want to name our template let's call it a template name let's just do home page let's see what we get make sure our home page is pulling up yes okay so let's publish that. Uh, let's say home page, home page. And I'll go back here. Uh, let me change my permalinks so I can make my URLs pretty instead of the default. And then I want to go to reading. Yes. And I want to set my home page to home page. All right. So what do we see when we view the home screen? All right. This is a template name home page. My comments aren't correct. Oh, because I don't have it in a PHP tag. That's why. All right. And now comment that. 
and this. Okay. All right, so there's nothing there. Let's do this. Let's add our footer. Get footer. Get header. Okay. So now we have our footer and our header. We're on the home page. All right. Okay, so we're on the home page. So now how do we render out our layout? Well, to get started with Timber, what we have to do is create um, a context object. And then in that context object will basically have everything related to that page within the within the object. And when what we do is once we have everything related to that object in the context um, array or object, we pass that object to the view. And when you think about this, you can um, think of it as being uh, MVC methodology. So let's just let's just give you an example. So if I want to go and add the uh, context and instantiate it to say timber get context. Right. And then there's um there's actually a um a function that says render, right? And then we because we don't have a template yet for the page, let's just do this context. Let me create a template for the page so we just do um, pages and let's just say home page home twig h1 let's just do uh, All right, for now, we're just going to use the home. All right. So basically what I'm doing is I'm instantiating the context. So the context of um, the page template, and then I'm passing that into a render. So this is passing everything within this context and I can render it out to the, the template file that we want to render uh, this page context to. And so the two arguments that we wanna pass in is a path to the, the template and then uh, the context, um, so let's go back and see if it works. Okay, so now we have our home being rendered. And let's say we want to use our layout because now I don't see my layout being rendered. So to do that, we need to add a block area for the content that we want rendered within this this layout wrapper so let's just do content that'll be the name of the block and in block all right and then in my home so let me put this in a different screen so what we want to do is we want to wrap our content from 
the home template into content block, same as the one in the wrapper. And what do we do? We have this matching uh, what we have here in the layout. And then to ensure that our home template is being wrapped by the layout, what we need to do is actually um, do something which is extended. So we say um, extends. And what does it extend to? It extends to the layout or from the layout. So let's just do uh, pages, I'm sorry, and layout dot twig. All right, render it. Uh, it's outside, so let's see. Okay, so let's do this. Um, templates. Yeah, there we go. So we have our home page um, template working here. So that's how you would get started with using Timber and giving yourself the ability to be able to start using Twig within your WordPress templates. So I'm gonna stop the video right here. In the next video, I'm gonna continue to flesh out my home page. Um, what I will do is um, go into Adobe XD to flesh out my, my home page and then take that design and translate it over to WordPress. And I'm also just step through uh, how to create a menu um, how to create the footer and we're gonna uh, continue on with this in the next video so look out for that so if you like this content that I just shared please subscribe to this channel go ahead and hit that notification button while you're at it so you could actually be notified when I post my next video